Hey guys, what's going on, and welcome to episode 5 of the Oblivion walkthrough. So in this episode, we're actually... There should be a guy here to give us another quest. We're just going to wait a few hours, maybe it's a bit too early for him, I'm not sure. But anyway, he should be here now. The guy who gave us the Mage's Staff quest. This guy right here, who's getting trapped on a... Oh, advancement. I'm an actual mage now. I'm a real wizard. Okay, so anyway, he gave us a quest. I didn't even read what it was, what it is. Again, like I asked you guys if you wanted to, um... Oh, those are worth quite a bit. I'll take them. But I asked, uh, in episode two, if you guys wanted me to not skip quest dialogue, and no one really answered that question. So again, you know, if there's anyone out there that really, really... If it really, really bugs you that I skip all the, the dialogue, you know, just let me know, and I won't do it anymore. But anyway, um... I really, really need to go to my house and drop some stuff off. So you know what we do? What we're going to do, since I haven't shown you guys uh, my house yet, that's what I'm going to do right now. I haven't done it yet, and I'm about to. And um, after that, we'll start on this quest. I can't remember exactly what this one is like. But regardless, we'll figure out what it is pretty soon. Oh, I remember what this quest is. But yeah, we'll we'll uh, start on that quest pretty soon. So there's a guy yelling there. Um, he's for the Knights of the Nine expansion, I believe. Uh, he's the guy that you need to talk to. But we'll get into that later. Um, as long as I stick with this walkthrough, which so far I have every intention of doing, we will eventually get to the Knights of the Nine. But not yet. Uh, for now, we're working on the. Mage's Guild. So this is where I store all my alchemy ingredients. I'm not sure why bone meal was split up into two different sections. It's always nice to have um, some of like every alchemy ingredient because you know some quests require them and most of the uh, Daedric statues require certain alchemy ingredients. Stuff like that. Also, um, I don't know, I just kinda like making all my potions at once. I don't like having to train alchemy. Oops. Crap. I just picked up a Nurn Root. I did not mean to do that. Nurn Roots we keep somewhere else. Yes, they are alchemy ingredients, but you don't want to use them as alchemy ingredients. That would be a big mistake, because they are part of a huge quest that takes forever to compl complete. I think the Nurn Root quest is, like, the only quest in this game I've never fully completed. I just stored the Nurn Root again. Wow. But yeah, the reason why I've never done the full Nurn Root quest is because you have to find, like, 200 Nurn Roots or something, and, you know, I just can't do that. That would take way too long. But anyway, um, I can't remember if I showed this house at all uh, after it was all fixed up and the ghosts were all gone. I think I did a little bit. I'm not quite sure. Oh, yeah, I store soul gems in here as well. I was trying to remember exactly what I store. So, And Varla stones and Welkin stones. These are awesome. These stones, um, I probably should keep them with me, but you can find them in Iliad Ruins. They're really common in Iliad Ruins, and each stone does a full restore on your Magicka. And these Varla stones are even more awesome. Each uh, Varla stone does a full restore on your uh, on any enchanted item. We can store lockpicks in here, too. Why did I have a pickaxe in my inventory? That is a huge mistake. That's like six pounds of uselessness. So let's get rid of that pickaxe. Um, so... That is, this is where I keep all, like, the important items, so I keep my Soul Gems, um, Nurn Roots, and Shadow Banish Wine. Shadow Banish Wine is, again, part of a quest as well, so you want to keep that. And this is where I put stuff that I want to sell. Um, so I'm going to put all these scrolls in here, because I don't need any of these. Um, I'm not exactly sure why I have that book. And I'm going to keep four potions of healing in my inventory just in case things get kind of hairy but the other potions I don't need um, one thing that I really do need is repair hammers um, and this is where I store arrows um, because you know arrows they're not very heavy but they do add up if you have a ton of them in your inventory um, so I'm going to be storing all of these and now I should be actually quite light let's see robe of the apprentice oh yeah um, that is the robe that I got as a reward for the uh, Mage's Guild. But I swear I had like a desk where I kept keys and stuff as well. And that's where I'm going to keep the Apprentice robe. Yeah, I believe it was this one. So I'm going to keep that in there. And the robe of the Apprentice. Because I'm never going to wear the robe of the Apprentice, but there's no point in selling it because it's not worth anything. 
Okay, so um, I really should get some repair hammers, but uh, regardless, I'm going to do this quest. So yet again, there's a traitorous man in this quest, and he's going to try to kill you. Kind of like a lot of quests. There's a lot of traitorous men in this game. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I guess Bethesda just had a thing for traitorous men. I was trying to remember the name of the company that made this game for a second. I was like, I think it's Bethesda. Bethesda, Maryland. Bethesda is actually named after the town where they are based in. Some of you may know that, some of you may not. But yeah, there is a Bethesda, Maryland. And that is where Bethesda is named after. Why did I just randomly wake up at 2.51 a.m. when I said to wake... A little bird told me that you've been asking around town about... Uh... What's that all about? <laughs> okay. Some guy just woke me up and tried to talk to me. Okay. It's a little bit weird. Anyway, we'll disregard him for the time being. That is part of a quest. I'm not going to be doing that quest yet. Again, I will be doing side quests, just not yet. Yes. We'll save those for later. Oh. But this guy is a traitor. So what did he tell us to do? I didn't read. I need to return tomorrow. So that's pretty simple. You just wait 24 hours. And then he'll tell you to like meet him out in the middle of the forest at night. Kind of creepy. But anyway. Takes forever to wait. I really didn't wish you didn't... I wish you didn't have to do this. It's kind of trivial how that it just the game randomly makes you wait for no reason. You talk to someone, they say, oh, come back in 24 hours. You wait 24 hours, and you talk to them again. It's like, what was the point of that? You there. Don't really see it. You have an update for you. Okay. So he wants to, us to meet him out in the pasture in, like, the middle of the night, which is a little bit, you know, hairy. A little bit dodgy. And, yeah, he's just basically trying to kill us. That's why he wants us to go out there, so there will be no witnesses. Oh, there's a mine location we can quickly discover here. I'm probably getting pretty close to like 100 conjuration by now. I hope, at least. I'm just going to harvest some grapes while I run past here. I try my best to like harvest alchemy ingredients without you know, spending forever picking every single one. I don't know about you guys, but like the first time I ever played this game, I went to every single flower and I picked them all. Every single time I found a flower or something, I would go to the flower and I'd pick that. And I wasted so much time doing that. But I did get um, 100 alchemy pretty quickly at the same time. So I guess it was kind of worth it. But anyway, you know, those are just stories. I'm, a, oh my goodness, like the first time I ever played this game, I just fell in love. It was amazing. I couldn't get enough of it. So this is where we have to wait. I cannot wait when enemies are nearby. Really? Are you an enemy? Are you? Oh. This guy. A bandit bowman. I shouldn't say guy. It's not a guy. It's a woman. We even got a light armor increase. And some iron arrows. And some lockpicks. You know, we don't need... Whoa. <laughs> that guy's spazzing out. Do you have a quest? Nope. Oh, what are you training? What do you train in? Oh, athletics. That's kind of worth it, because athletics is so slow to train, but at the same time, I can't afford to. So sorry. Alright, so we have to wait here until, I believe it's 2 a.m.? Yep, 2 a.m. But, yeah, athletics is definitely worth it. If you want to use your train on something, I would re recommend athletics or armor, because armor is so useful, or acrobatics, because that's incredibly slow, or uh, speechcraft or mercantile. Those are all, like, the worst skills in the game to train, so I'd recommend those. Actually, ar um, armor is quite easy to train if you know what you're doing. Why did I wait that long? Oh, my goodness. I just waited way past 2 a.m. I was not paying attention. That wasn't smart. Oh, well. It's not that big of a deal. It's just another 30 seconds wasted or something. But, yeah. Armor, there is a trick later in the game. Um, there's a reason why, if you remember the last episode when I bought the Corrode Armor spell and I said this spell is really awesome later on in the game, there's a reason why I bought that spell. And you'll see why. We have to be a uh, master of the Mage's Guild to make any use of that spell. But once we are... Um, we can make one of the best spells in the game and has something to do with armor. But yeah, these guys are basically trying to kill you. Just in time. 
I'm afraid. Yep, he turns out to be evil, so you just cut his face off. Pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. Oh my goodness. An apprentice of heavy armor. Your plate mail is no longer damaged so quickly from combat. That's kind of a good thing, and also kind of a bad thing. Did my sword just break? I think it did. Yeah, my sword just broke. Wow, that's a fail. Uh, I'll be. I'll do this. Boom. Oh, my destruction skill increased, and I just leveled up. That's pretty cool. So yeah, these guys are necromancers, but um, unlike most necromancers, they have really crappy drops. So. And right here, this is the real count, Janus Hasseldor. He's kind of a beast. And he's also a vampire, but anyway, you can probably tell just from his like d eyes. But anyway, I have no idea what he just said there, but I desperately need repair hammers, and I'm also gonna go back to the Imperial City. But yeah, my sword freaking broke. I've never had that happen before. That's what happens when you're out of repair hammers. Okay. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I just healed myself when I didn't even need to, and my restoration increased. What a boss! Alright, so as I was saying, heavy armor is sometimes a skill that you don't really want to train that badly, um, and that's because it it's a lot slower to train your armor if your heavy armor is high, because your armor doesn't degrade as fast, but oh well. Alright, yes I have. Give me money. Give me money. Money. Now, please. He's a vampire, I know. I get that. Yes, I'm ready. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, he oh, apparently sure. gave me... Oh, yeah, we have to go to Va... D -d -d Vahatakan. This part is kind of annoying. But, really quickly, we're going to go to the market district, and I'm not even going to pause the video, because this will take literally 60 seconds. And get some more repair hammers. Because I know I'm going to say, oh, off camera, I'll get some repair hammers, and then I'll just forget. It happens every time. I always forget to repair members. I swear, I bought like 40 of them not very long ago, and I went through them all already. So, This is my favorite store in the game, because it's pretty close to a teleport spot, and it's a general what store. Time? It's a copious coin purse. This yeah, guy also has a quest associated with him. Later on in the game, we'll be doing that one. 21 repair hammers. Thank you. Thank you Goodbye. I do not have enough gold? Can I interest you in? How do I not have that much gold? Oh my goodness. Is there anything I can sell? Sell potions of healing. Yeah, why not? I probably won't need them anyway. Okay. Let me have your repair hammers, please. Yep. Thank you. Goodbye. I appreciate your patronage. And repair all these up. Oh my goodness. I was in bad shape. I probably got like five armor levels doing that. Actually, I think it was just two, but still. I thought I was supposed to go to Vahataken. Why is it not making me go to Vahataken yet? However you pronounce it. But yeah, Vahataken, or whatever, I don't even care how it's pronounced that much, but it is an alien ruin, and there is a puzzle associated with it that the first time I did the quest made me actually look up a guide. It was pretty embarrassing, I know. Yeah, just let me go to Vahataken. I get it. Goodbye. Map marker added. Uh-oh. This could mean I might have to walk for a while. Crap. Okay. Well, I'm going to have a bit of a trek to Vahataken. So, I will talk to you guys when I get there. It's probably going to take forever to get there, but I'll get there eventually. Alright, we're at Vahataken. And, oddly enough, it's not actually marked as an alien ruin on the map. Let's see. If we go to the map here. But I'm... I was pretty sure that it is an alien rune. Maybe it's not. Hmm. I might actually be thinking of the next quest. Anyway, um, I was just kind of, I thought it was pretty funny that, what was it, acrobatics. I got 25 in acrobatics not long ago. You know the skill that allows you to freaking jump around. Um, the higher your acrobatics level, the more you can jump. But, and it's like, Oh, I can just auto attempt this because I got the uh, awesome lockpick. But anyway, it's like you leveled up your acrobatics. You can now jump and attack. It's like, really? <laughs> That's the dumbest reward ever. I mean, jumping and attack, why would you want to jump around while you're fighting unless you're playing Halo 3? But in any other game, why would you want to do that? 
Oh yeah, I was right, it is an alien ruin. See? Freaking alien ruin. So I don't know why it's not marked as one. But anyway, it's like, it's basically, you reach 25 acrobatics and it allows you to be a spastic. I mean, what's the point? Anyway, I'm going to quickly make use of your bed. I hope you don't mind. And I leveled up. Boom. Four personality. No. Don't feel like it. Personality is just kind of rubbish. I was going to say crap, but crap is an overused word, so I prefer to say rubbish. It's so magical. She actually says it's so magical. I know. I mean, the first time I saw that, I was so happy. It's like, I never thought I'd see a character in a video game say the words, it's so magical, but she did. I mean, she is an Argonian, so that probably explains a little bit. I am r not racist against Argonians, I promise. I was racist against Dark Elves, but now I am a Dark Elf. I can prove it even. Watch. Let's take off. Oh my goodness. Oh! Uh? Yeah, I'm a Dark Elf. Sent you in to try yep. The pillar. I don't... Okay, so he makes you go back to that kind lady. For some reason. Oh, by the way, if you're doing this quest, loot that chest. You have to. It's, it's part of the quest, man. You will need two of the scrolls that are in there unless you have a very, very extensive um, spell collection. But I do not. So, you're going to need the scrolls. But anyway, you go back to talk to her and you're like, yeah. She gives you a book. And you can read the book if you want. I think you have to to continue the quest. I'm not completely sure. But, oh, crap, I forgot about this. The Spell Drinker Amulet. Spell Observation, 15 points on self. That's actually really good. Fortify Personality, that's rubbish. We don't need that. But anyway, you can read this if you want. And if you're into, like, puzzles and crap, which I'm not. But if you are, all power to you. Okay, just continue. <laughs> Bye. What a waste of my talents. You're a waste of my time. But anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, if you if you're into like puzzles and crap, then feel free. Is it gonna make me go back to her? Cause the green arrow is not pointing towards the pillar. I should ask her for it. Really, I should ask her for the book that happens to be in my inventory and that I just read. Oh my goodness, this game, sometimes. Anyway, I know what to do on the pillar because, well, I've done this before about 25 times. But, um, if you don't know what to do, and you don't want to know what to do, then you're silly. Fire. Then... Do I have an ice spell? Cold touch, there we go. Ice. And then, I believe, Sever Magica. Yep. And then, Elevate Magica. I was like, crap, I really hope that's right. I wasn't sure if Sever or Elevate was first. But anyway, you get to go down in the dungeon now, and we actually get to fight stuff. I know, it's awesome. Anyway. Yeah, this is the part. Oh. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I almost forgot about this. We have to fight these guys. It's not going to be fun. I really hope I have my... Yeah. I have my 25 damage. But yeah, these guys can't be hurt with traditional weapons. Like, watch. Boom. Your attack has no effect. So, unfortunately, the only way to kill them is using magic. And like like ghosts, um, I believe at least, I'm not... Ooh. I'm apprenticed in light armor. But anyway... I'm not 100% sure on this, but holy crap, they deal so much damage. I'm silenced. Oh, run. Holy crap. <laughs> that ghost is so strong. <laughs> Last time I did this quest, they were just regular race. But this time they're faded race, which I guess are a lot stronger. Um, I'm silenced again. You know, I don't know if I'm going to get be able to get through here without an enchanted weapon. Um, because you can kill these things with enchanted weapons, but you just can't kill them with normal weapons. I might have to go back and get an enchanted weapon. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to save just in case. If I do die, which is a pretty strong possibility, just be aware of that. Let's see. 
potion wise how am I doing oh yeah I forgot I sold my potions cause like oh yeah I don't need potions I'm such a beast I sold my healing potions that is pair those up really quick I really shouldn't have done that but yeah I probably will need to like enchant this bow or something um, I do happen to know where an enchanting table is so I could enchant this dwarven bow and I do have quite a few soul gems. The only problem is, um, if I enchant this bow, I won't be able to repair it, and I kind of like this bow, so... Um, I might just try to buy some crappy weapon, and then enchant it. But, otherwise, uh, I might be toast. Like, an enchanted bow would be great. That's what I really need. Um, an because an enchanted sword, I'll have to get up close to those wraiths, and then they're just gonna completely destroy me, so I don't know if that's a good idea. I also happen to know there is a dread zombie later on in this dungeon, which is incredibly strong, but you can kill him with normal weapons, so it's fine. Um, you can use the old... Oh, by the way, that's a trap. I mean, it's probably pretty obvious, but that is a trap. Uh, you can kill the dread zombie later in this dungeon with the old uh, hit-and-run tactic. Oh my goodness, what's hitting me? I really kind of hope that's a soul gem trap. health. Oh my goodness, stop it. Whatever you are, knock it off. Okay, and I believe there are wraiths past here. Yep, there are. As soon as I stand on these, this pressure plate, um, wraiths will come out from there and there. <sighs> so, you got this. I do have a Welkin Stone, which is a free, full Magicka. And... A weak potion of light. That's not going to help out too much. Oh my goodness, I'm going to die, aren't I? But yeah, there's a wraith right behind here, and he can see me. Through the wall somehow. I don't know why these enemies are so strong. Like, I'm only level 11. Why am I fighting faded wraiths already? That seems really kind of ridiculous, but... um, so I'm sorry, I'm just waiting for my Magicka to regenerate. Trust me, without Magicka, I'm toast, because I can't use my sword or shield... To, my sword or... um bow to fight. I don't think a shield does a whole lot against magic, and wraiths use magic, but anyway, holy crap. I really don't like the fact that there's wraiths. Uh, one thing that I could do, I guess, is just um, go get all those Welkin stones from my house, because I have ten of them, and just go all out magic on these guys. That might be a good idea. But yeah, take this guy out as quickly as possible. Really? I'm paralyzed? Oh, I'm not paralyzed. I'm over-encumbered. Um... Crap. Yep, I'm dead. <sighs> this game... Okay, guys, you remember how I said I would only use this staff of paralysis if things got really hairy? Well, we're breaking it out. The staff of paralysis. So, I've already kind of uh, tested this thing out, so it does work against the Faded Wraiths, which is what well, was my main concern. But basically, you just have to go really fast against these guys. So, I also brought a ton of Welkin Stones. So, I pretty much have unlimited Magicka. So, one down. And I'm currently silenced. I'm silenced. No. Freeze him. Come on, hurry up, wear off. So yeah, just holy crap. Okay, Welkin Stone, quick. You guys have no idea how hard this is. These guys are way too high level for me. Freeze. Die. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I should not be fighting Faded Race at, like, level 11. That is, you know, that is not a good idea. Elven Short Sword. Oh my goodness, that's a lot better than my current Short Sword. <laughs> or, well, it's not a lot better, but it's a little bit better. One damage better, to be honest. Well, to be... I think it weighs, yeah. It weighs a lot less, too, so hey. You know, winner, winner. Did this guy have a weapon? I don't know. Anyway. Holy crap. Holy crap. 
So, I think that's all about, about all I can say for now. So, the best tactic for these guys is to, first of all, save before you fight them, and then just go ham with your staff. Um, at this next point, I think there is only... Yeah, this is obviously a trap. I mean, it's, it's as obvious as the nose on my face. But, oh, we'll take that. But, holy crap, I don't know why I'm fighting these guys at level whatever, I'm 12. Yeah, there we go, see, it's a trap. Also, there is uh, soul gem traps there. I know there is... Yeah, you just saw him, but there's one more faded wraith here. I'm not going to open the door. Oh, never mind, that's not a faded wraith. That's just an axe blade, but there is a faded wraith. One more faded wraith. Ah, uh, screw it, I might as well just use a welkin stone. Um, so another thing you want to do is use a summon... Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I just died. <sighs> wow. I can't believe that happened. I did not know those axes did so much damage. That's half my health gone per axe. Holy crap. I had no idea those were so... so incredibly... Just freeze him, thank you. Alright, just spam the crap out of this guy. I'm just gonna run through the rest of this dungeon and try my best not to get hit by those axes again. Okay, come on, come on, come on, quick. There he is, dead. Alright, take the elven short sword again. If I die again to those axes, I'm gonna save before I go through them, obviously, but if I die again to those axes, that is gonna be really embarrassing. I don't want to equip that, I just wanted to quick mind it. Anyway. But yeah, this dungeon. Oh my goodness, this is just killer. This is by far the most difficult dungeon I've had to face so far. I didn't even know Oblivion was a difficult game till now. I mean, if you ever played Morrowind, that game is pretty freaking difficult. But this this game, for the most part, has never been that bad. Okay, so before we go through there, we're gonna heal up to full. Full health. Alright, now save. In case I get hit by those freaking axes again, man. So there's... There's three of them. No, there's only two of them. Ah. Holy crap. That almost killed me. Uh, use another Welkin Stone, why not? And I know there's going to be, I believe, one more Faded Wraith before we actually get into the main, let's call it, boss room. I mean, these Welkin Stones are cheap, and you find them all over the place, so... Alright, one of them is not hard to deal with. It's when you have two or more, and we are going to have more than one Faded Wraith at a time pretty soon. So, um, after we get into, like, the main... You can call it a boss fight. I mean, it's a pretty... Di it's not technically a boss fight, but it is a pretty difficult fight. So... You know, we'll call it a boss fight. I already looted his ectoplasm. Anyway, this room. I don't believe there's any faded race until you activate the top. Um, I also don't think you actually have to kill the monsters. I believe you can just pick up the item you need and run out, but I may be wrong. Anyway, as the second you push this, um, these stone steps raise. Yeah, and it isn't until you take the item, um, until the monsters spawn. Oh, never mind. I guess this doesn't, this does not activate until you kill them. So there's going to be two race, oh, some skeletons, that's not too bad, we can deal with them. Oh, these are higher level skeletons, though. Skeleton heroes, why am I fighting these high level monsters? Does this game realize I'm only level 12? I'm going to need all the help I can get. Holy crap. I'm most likely going to... I don't know if I can survive this, guys, to be honest. Because these guys have, like, elven battle axes. And they're just going ham. But yeah, these monsters are really high level for what I am right now. If you didn't realize that already from my ranting. Holy crap, I am getting the, the shiznit kicked out of me right now.
Maybe I should lower the difficulty a little bit just for this dungeon, but oh my goodness. We'll try it. If I end up dying horribly, uh, I will lower the difficulty and try again, but we're not going to wimp out until we absolutely have to. Don't worry. Three skeleton heroes, oh my goodness. I think those are all dwarven battle axes. I'm not sure, though, but I know they're doing a lot of damage. And I don't have great armor. That's something you got to remember as well. I gotta get another scamp out. Luckily, the race, the race aren't going at me right now. Oh, I know what I could do. I could do this. I don't have to fight them head to head. I can just shoot them from a distance and run off. This is a much better idea. Even though my arrows are gonna do hardly any damage, but this is a lot better than just getting whacked by their battle axes. So, I guess kudos to me for not wimping out and lowering the difficulty, even though this game is determined to kind of screw me over right here. Holy crap. That's not good. I got hit by them. So, the wraiths are on the other side of the room, and I don't think they've noticed me yet. So, that's good. Da, da, da. Intense battle. I have never actually seen... I've watched quite a few Oblivion videos, and I can tell you right now, I have never seen an Oblivion video where someone has struggled as much with the difficulty of the game as I am right now. Ow. Never. And I've watched so many Oblivion videos, trust me. So, anyway. Oh my goodness, and I have to fight, like, a really high-level zombie and I think two or three more wraiths after this. Oh, I might just be screwed, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I think this might be the most difficult quest I have to face all game, to be honest. Because, of course, like when I'm higher level, there will be higher level monsters, but I'll also have much better weapons and armor. And much better stats. Did I already kill two already? I don't feel like I did. But obviously I'm only using iron arrows right now, because I don't have a lot of anything else. So these are actually elven battle axes. So, oh my goodness. Elven, I believe, is more powerful than Dwarven in this game. That one had a Dwarven Battle Axe. Okay, so... Yeah, and the last one died over here. Did he have a Dwarven as well? Or an Elven? Eh. Dwarven. Okay, well, I'm obviously not going to pick those up because they weigh way too much. But what I am going to do is get out my Staff of Paralysis and my trusty old Scamp... And there should be two race up there and a very high level zombie, from what I can remember. Well, that's what there was last time I did this quest. Doesn't mean it's going to be the exact same this time. Oh, I only see a wraith. I don't see anything else, so... Hey, maybe I lucked out and I won't have to fight a freaking dire zombie this time. Because <laughs> I'm no kidding. It took me about... Let's recharge with a Welkin Stone. It took me about four solid minutes of pumping that guy with... Um, the dire zombie, just like hitting him with a sword, stepping back, hitting him again. It took freaking four minutes to do that, to kill him. So, anyway. Um, that thing up top there has not opened yet, so there's got to be another monster around somewhere. I just press this. Oh, there we go. <sighs> and I thought you had to kill all the monsters the whole time. Alright, well... You know, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought we were going to have to fight some more wraiths and stuff, but we got through it. And we've got to be really careful going through that axe part. You know what? I'm going to save just in case, because I have no desire to fight those skeletons again. Just in case I F up. Oh, wow, well, I did it without any damage at all. That's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to go turn in this quest here, and I guess be done with Oblivion for the night, because it's pretty late. Um, I work a long shift tomorrow, so I have to go to bed. And I'm also, I've am also i also, you know, have had enough stress from this game for one night, I think. So hopefully the next Mage's Guild quest will be quite a bit easier, and we won't have to break out this staff. I mean, this staff is the only reason I could get past the race, let's be honest. Without this staff, I would basically be screwed. So, you know, paralysis is cheap, but at the same time, so is this game. So, who do I take this to? Not you. I guess I take it to the other person. But, 
Anyway, we should be about done with this quest here. And ready to move on. So I'm almost to the part um, where I left off on my last time I played Oblivion. So I'll be doing, like, new stuff, which I'm pretty excited about. But anyways, yeah, I believe now we go back to the Mage's Guild and tell him about our findings and tell him that we died a couple times in this dungeon. <laughs> Barely made it through alive. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, I am exhausted. I worked, like, seven hours today. I actually came to work today, and I can't talk too much about it without revealing where I work, because um, the place where I work today is not a chain or anything. It's a single restaurant. And there are creepy stalkers online who will um, look you up. I actually had one guy go into... Um, like, tell me, or say in a YouTube comment one time, he said, like, my full name and where I lived, and I have no idea <laughs> how he figured that out, but, I mean, I obviously deleted the comment. Uh, luckily, I saw the comment, like, two minutes after it was posted, but anyway, hopefully he doesn't watch this video or post it, but anyway, yeah, that was a bit creepy, because as far as I know, I've never posted my address or anything online, so. Okay, what do we get as a reward from that quest? Let's see, do I have any new awesome items in my inventory? Um, doesn't look like it. The Spell Drinker Amulet is pretty good. That's that's Spell Observation. That means, um, I believe, 15 points of spell damage you absorb and gives you either 15 Magicka or 15 health. So, like, if um, someone hits you with a spell that normally does 30 damage, it'll only do 15 damage, and you will regenerate either 15... I think it's 15 Magicka, yeah. So, you'll regenerate 15 of that damage into 15 Magicka, so that's pretty helpful. But even with that, like, I still got torn in that dungeon. But anyway, part of it is, like, my armor is so crap. I'm wearing chainmail and iron, so I have to upgrade that. But I don't buy stuff. I don't buy gear in this game. I get it from drops. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, next episode, hopefully, will be a little less stressful. And farewell.